Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is a sewing video so I've actually managed to do a bit more sewing and I actually did some proper sewing this time. So I've used my um, Tilly and the Buttons pattern, it's the Agnes top um, and there are a few different options. I made this three times before. There are a few different options on the back so it does have like a, a ruching on the shoulders and then also um, the neckline as well and then you can have a couple of different sleeve length options so you could have just a normal neckline and normal sleeves short or long sleeves you could have the ruching on the shoulders and or the kind of ruching on the neckline as well um, so I decided to make the short sleeve option um, even though I kind of could do with some more long sleeve tops, I think I just didn't think I had enough fabric to um, do the long sleeve option. Um, I decided to do the ruching on the neckline and the sleeves. And so this is kind of the finished look. And I'll insert um, some pictures of me actually wearing it um, because it's quite difficult for me to actually show it on camera like this. And it just looks super awkward and weird. So the fabric is a really like amazing print that I've seen a few people um, use. It's a Lady McElroy pattern or Lady McElroy design um, and it has like flowers and snakes and beetles and butterflies um, and I just really like it. I got it in the lighter colour which is Chantilly. They also did it in a black. Um, I kind of... I don't wish that I got it in the black colour, but I will say about this lighter colour is that it is pretty see-through. Um, so it's quite a lightweight fabric. It's a viscose crepe, 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 not the pancake, but the fabric, however you pronounce that. Um, so I'm still learning about fabrics, but it has like a lot of like sort of drapey movement, uh, but it's quite lightweight to, I guess, that kind of goes hand in hand with it being a bit more like drapey and flowy. Um, but it does mean that like it doesn't give you that kind of structure to the finished garment so it's um, quite a thin weight, lightweight, quite thin and um, even for a, like t-shirt fabric it feels like it's a bit clingy um, and it is very sheer so it's a bit of a shame because I think I would get more use out of it as an everyday top if it wasn't as sheer because I'm going to have to think carefully about what I wear underneath uh, because you can just see my underwear through it, which is a bit frustrating. Um, also, I did wash the fabric before I started um, cutting out the pattern pieces, um, just in case it shrunk. Um, and in the drying process, it's like picked up, I think it was when it was drying, um, it's like got like a sort of dirty stain across the fabric. Um, so that's a bit frustrating, and that also is much more likely to happen with a light coloured fabric than a dark coloured fabric. Um, but I think, I, I don't know, I just didn't want the dark one. I ordered this fabric like a few months ago and then just didn't get around to actually using it. I bought like a big, I got like a big um, delivery of fabrics and then I barely used any of it because I've just not had time. So um, I can't really remember what I was thinking when I actually ordered any of it. Um, so the Agnes pattern is fairly straightforward. I have used this a few times before and I've liked the results. Um, the size 3 fits me really well, so uh, that's good to know that there's, like, there's a size that fits. I do find with the Tillian Buttons patterns that they tend to be quite, like, they sit quite widely on the shoulders. Like, the neck is quite, um, a, I don't know, it seems like quite a wide neck, which is fine for me, although I don't have a very big frame, so sometimes it can seem a little bit disproportional. Um, but that's not a problem, but the neckline does feel a bit sort of... Again, it's the lack of structure, I guess, in the fabric itself. It seems a little bit gapy. Um, I like the sleeves, the kind of ruching, so you sew elastic underneath and you pull it uh, as you're sewing it so that when you let go, it then like scrunches up. So the sleeves work relatively well. It's not super neat sewing. I do find it quite tricky to keep, to pull the elastic and have the fabric move through the machine so the fabrics go in one direction you pull in the elastic in the other direction and to keep the machine sewing like nice straight neat stitches um but the sleeves you can't really tell that much but the, the stitching on the front i mean i tried it a couple of times the problem is that you could you, 
you keep unpicking it and then it ends up like leaving marks in the fabric and this fabric I did find um, you can see like the marks of where I've sewn and things when I took out like basting stitches and things um, the ruching on the neck is done the same way where you sew the elastic in um, and it's just really messy <laughs> and that is a lot of just it's just my sewing I'm just not that good and it's just been ages since I've it's not been that long since I've done sewing but it's been I was going through I did go a phase where I was sewing quite regularly and doing everything like properly step by step and I got into a good rhythm with it and I made quite a few wearable pieces that are still in my wardrobe and then I just had a long period where I just wasn't doing very much sewing and it's just been very hit and miss on and off um, and I just sort of feel like I'm relearning again which is fine but it obviously makes everything take longer and it's just not as neat a finish and it's just quite frustrating so I kind of wish I hadn't done the ruched around the neck but I do like the look of it like the the other Agnes that I've done that to I do think it looks quite nice although that also took me several attempts it's a lot more noticeable that the stitching is not straight and it also kind of all got tangled up in the machine the first couple of times as well um, again it's just pulling the elastic whilst it's you trying to push it through the machine is just quite tricky so if anyone has made this top before or done anything similar and knows any tips of how to do it please let me know and um, because I was struggling with that um, the rest of the the gamut was fairly straightforward. I haven't really finished off like the um, raw edges of the hem. I've just folded it under once and sewn it, but um, it's it's not going to fray, so it's totally fine and it sits flat. Um, the same with like the inside of the sleeves, it, it it seems fine. So I'm not really that bothered about that. Um, and I do have like a wearable top. Uh, which I like and I really love this pattern again I just really wish um, that it was like a darker colour or less sheer I think it, it is one of the things about lighter weight fabrics um, this is perhaps a little bit too lightweight for me just wearing it like I said it's just like that little bit sheer and also a bit clingy which I perhaps would prefer something that wasn't quite so clingy um, but yeah uh, I'm pleased that um, I successfully made another Agnes top, this is my fourth now. Um, I would like to make some other things but the problem is then you have to buy the new pattern and then you have to like do it a couple of times before you really learn properly how to do it and you have to buy all the fabric. I'm trying to work my way through my stash but then I've also, like I said, recently ordered a bunch of fabric that I should use and I don't know, I don't have very much time so it's tricky. Um, if anyone has any suggestions on beginner or like advanced beginner um, patterns, um, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, if you've liked the top of the video, please leave me uh, give me a like, um, and to see more, please do subscribe.